Christmas in Appalachia, the wonder of the first snowfall, the quiet stillness. The larders are full, firewood is stacked, and people are prepared for whatever winter might bring. Celebrating the birth of the Christ child will inevitably mean church, music, and good food. A staple at Christmas time in Appalachia is the apple stack cake. There are many varying versions. Some use applesauce as the filling, others apple butter, but I wanted to use a more traditional filling of dried apples, which I reconstituted with water and a combination of cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg, and a little brown sugar, all to taste. Mother's late Aunt Kate was the one who made this cake. Mother gave me her cookbook, so I combined her recipe with another one that I found. You basically just cream together lard or shortening with molasses, white sugar, and eggs. The cake layers are made with flour, baking powder, baking soda, and salt, and I added ginger, like my great aunt's recipe called for, and then a little buttermilk.
Some people roll out the dough and cut it in a circle around a pie pan and either bake in the pans or on parchment paper on a cookie sheet. But I just patted mine out really thin in greased floured pans and baked three at a time. If y'all saw my fall kitchen video, you know how obsessed I am with the set on the TV show The Waltons, especially the kitchen. So I started searching for fabric to recreate the sink skirt and curtains they have. I found something very similar at fabricguru.com, and although the pattern is a larger scale, it's very similar and the colors were absolutely perfect. So when it came, I made a sink skirt, curtains, and a valance. Another item that caught my eye was the Metlocks Poppy Trail Rooster Salt Cellar that is always on set. I found one on eBay for $12 and knew I had to have it. I also found a green check tablecloth to use and ended up keeping the table very simple, just like on the set, and I couldn't love it more. It's just a cozy kitchen, all ready for my family to be gathered around the table where, hopefully, many good memories will be made. And that is something to look forward to.
to end with another poem from the Reverend Dr. Howard Thurman, and this one is Christmas is the Season of the Heart, the time of forgiveness for injuries past, the sacrament of sharing without balancing the deed, the moment of remembrance of graces forgotten, the poem of joy making light the spirit, the sense of renewal restoring the soul, the day of thanksgiving for the goodness of God, Christmas is the season of the heart. Merry Christmas, friends.